on it was a pretty close series, a 2-0, but could have went either way. That derailed yeah. game wound up being 13-11, and we did get word this first map is going to be derailed, and it was actually London Esports pick, so not sure if they're just feeling extra confident on it or don't know that Endpoint just beat S1 on it, but regardless, they're going to just start it right away by going five to couch. London Esports going to try to take the B site by force. You see Replan up top of this Gavir going to try to get at least one and can't find it. It does find one kill. Shoots the legs of Uzuma. Meanwhile, Fate got the kill on two. Stack, stack, stack. So a four versus three. Reflex are getting very low but staying alive. And the cinema control is attained. So they do have a lot of just sight from that cinema into the bomb when they start planning. But Reflexer gets one more kill, taking it down to do two. Laton and the leader just have to do something. Maybe going to try to work their way back towards A. Yeah, well, Cinder's just spoiled them out, so that A rotate is going to be thwarted straight away. As you can see, two rotations already from Endpoint's players. So as for that, Cinder's just rotated all the way back to site. This is going to be a difficult take if Slatan and Delita actually do want to push on to this A site, but that's not really matters. Mark will take down Delita right off the bat. Yeah, kind of a telegraphed rotate off. Slatan's going to try to get this fight on the mark as he gets taken down low and does trace him, so at least gets one more kill and some money for the next round, but has 30 seconds to try to get either on A or B and get the bomb down, but there are players on both sites. We have Cinda and Reflexer both here going to have a crossfire as soon as he enters on, so probably should not see the bomb going down. A fake plant comes out and he tries to walk, but both are there, so a good first round for Endpoint going up one nothing and a uh, kill apiece across the board. Yeah, Team Ace... Uh quite rare in most of these circumstances, but we've seen a fair few of them at this event. And there should uh, be things to tell as uh, London get off poor stop, but it just uh, like they want to go for a half by at least. You've got two smokes as well as a couple of carbines. And two nades coming out from endpoint. This is important to see where they throw these nades and if they actually can just anyone off guard. Yeah, one are going to go over mid just about every round and Replan with that STG may be able to find the back end of that kill, but just getting that nade over mid means that no one's going to be couched quickly, so Reflex are going to be comfortable here that no one's rushing and fake getting into cinema. Once again, just so important to have control of that and yeah. not let them tear you apart and may actually catch the back end of Max Strafe if he peeks out, but may just be holding that angle for now. Replan getting hit very low, but not going down, and Reflex gets bumped up to the headshot on Max Strafe, so fake doesn't even need to show himself. On the other side of this, Azuma is close and... Has a teammate here looking to try to entry on the site. Meanwhile, the bomb looks like it is working over towards A, so Cinda going to have to deal with two players on his own. So a little bit of a split here, but they do not have the best guns. So kind of up to Cinda, either get this info or get both a plus 10, because this bomb will go down if Cinda goes down on site. Exactly, but he will manage to catch off the first player, and that's Dax and retreat straight away to Alter Room just to give himself some more time as this push will undoubtedly come through. As it was Slatan alone on the site. There's uh, the two other players pushing down mid, and I think they might actually get caught off guard here. Mark actually goes down and was looking the wrong way at the wrong times. Latin still knows that Cinda is in here. He's going to throw the smoke out, and that's a prompt to push, and does get the headshot, so luckily stays alive. Bomb is down, and 25 seconds left. Zuma in a great spot, and again, again, at least one was hoping that one more would come for the rotate. Cinda gets the leader, so now stuck in a 1v3. Can't do it. Red plan picking up that headshot, so a close round, but Cinda doing his job over staying alive in that uh, church and not letting him yeah. get the bomb down. Cinder did a fantastic job staying alive in Alter Room. But what a shot from Replan falling out of the window. Getting the headshot straight away. Didn't give Azuma a chance to fight back. And uh, increases Endpoint's lead by another point. But now we're seeing nades from London. A lot of nades. Five, four nades for London, five nades for Endpoint. Which Endpoint's used four of their nades already. And Mark's just thrown his fifth one. Yeah, you think they may want to stagger that just to um, make sure they're not all kind of doing double work. But all those nades do come out, and London still actually threw all theirs trying to clear that site. Max Strafe's going to come in here, gets the headshot before he goes down. Important that he does get at least one kill there as the rest of his team is postured up by this couch location trying to entry on the site, but they have full control of cinema. We see, I believe that's Replan playing there with the STG, so he's going to be able to turn around and hold a tight angle if need be. And Meanwhile, Mark's flanked all the way through A. He's kind of given that site up, so it could be dangerous if they start rotating, but I think the lack of information here from Mark is going to be just as much as seeing them himself. He knows that they're not coming through A. They must be couch, and that's exactly where they are. So going to be a big gunfight coming up here from the flank. Mark's going to see one. Doesn't know that one's close and will win that gunfight. Returns or retreats off that and can stay alive. 45 seconds, and the clock is ticking down a bit here. Luckily, Slatan is able to take down Mark, and they're actually going for a quick rotation. You can already see Cinder rotating all the way back to A. He's in Graveyard. As well as the fact that Replant 
still on this B site. The Leecher may get caught out here if Reflexor goes fast enough, but he's going to take it slow. And Sedna has been here for a while. They're taking the long way around going Grave, and it may fool him, but they only have 20 seconds left, and it's going to work until he hears them and starts to turn. Looks like he may not be holding the angle. Yes, he is going to get the plus 5, plus 10. One more jumping in, looking for the 3 man, but no, the leader does find the head. Has a lot of work to do, seven seconds left, but Reflexor takes it, and that's a pretty big investment from London Esports. We do see they still have five coins, but they had a, uh, I don't think there was a single nade kill that round. I think eight no. on the map maybe, and no <laughs> kills across the board. There was nine nades thrown right out of the start of the game, and no one caught each other off. Yeah, uh, not, I don't know. not sure if there's any landing in courtyard, or if they're all just throwing a mid, or spam nades yeah. to stop from B site, and I mean, I guess they do that early to stop the other team and set a precedent to kind of keep them from cheating over there and running too fast. But the nades do come out once again, and these guys are just going to get to the spots that they're comfortable playing on both of these sites. Mark going to try to strafe across. Does get a hit marker and sees more, so at least able to call it. Reflex are working with him in that alt mid. Mark trying to spray through, but Azuma does pick up two there, and they should be able to get to site. Sindo once again is here with the MP40, though. Needs to get some work done. Finds shots on the first, but falls off, and the leader's able to trade. So... London Esports looking pretty good as this bomb is going to go down. They're both rotating through. Azuma getting one and making it almost two. Fake still alive. Does get some shots onto Church site, but not hitting anything. And a one versus two. Going to get flanked here by Max Strafe if he's not careful. Exactly. And Max Strafe will get that flank and get that kill. Impressive round from Azuma there. Getting those two entries, helping his team, making sure it's equal. And then getting the third one from Delita onto Cinder, clearing out the site. Really good work from the allies to get their first round on the board in such a fashion and this should uh, cause some changes in the wallets of them. Endpoint will still be able to make a quite decent buy. However, you know, it's a uh, half S buy actually. Yeah, I think it's... Cinder didn't buy anything. Cinder didn't buy. I don't think Replan has a gun. Yeah. Kind of a, a half save here, maybe realizing they weren't as rich as they thought. And yeah. off that buy, you're going to see them kind of push through mid and change this up a bit. They're stacking B, and that's exactly where London Esports is going. So they may be a bit lucky here, depending if they are going to win these gunfights or not. Max Strafe opening up with the kill on two marks. Cinder playing close with this, maybe going to be able to get an easy one. And we have someone flanking, able to get the plus five, and is traded off. Meanwhile, the bomb's going down. Replan playing close. Sees them, actually gets under the scope of the leader and able to pick up a kill. Now has an M1. And it's a 3v3 retake, making a lot out of this eco, but just need to close the round off. Max Strafe picks up another, making it two for him on the round. He seems like Replan is just trying to find an opening on this side, but his reflex is leading the charge with a Gavet. So he's still up in the heavens. He's going to be causing a nuisance, and he peeks. Frozen dead nade, it seems like. Can't exactly find any targets just yet. And they're going to smoke straight on the site and kind of fake it off. That fades out Max straight to peek up top. Azuma is flanking and does get one kill. Going to play it safe just by retreating off. And now Reflexor has to make a move. I don't think he knows where his Latin is. So has to either tap this bomb or it looks like he's actually just going to retreat off and save his Thompson. Probably a good idea since well, an eco around. Oh, actually going for a gunfight and now running away after he gets down yeah. to about half health. So another good round from London. Endpoint making the most out of their bad economy and saving a bit there. Getting two kills on Replan. So... Uh, probably not a scoping map. Could could buy one if you wanted to. Well, you can definitely use the scope on this map. Going down mid, or watch second mid. It's probably better if you go for the unscoped car, which Replan has done, which will be more useful since you can hold the closer range angles. Right. You can get move onto different players very well. But look at London's nades. They've got a bunch more than uh, Endpoint does. And they will we'll see if they all come out early. Max Street going to get on this. And these are just spam nades to I stop them from getting... Kill. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them, maybe, and that one bounces. Replan lucky to be alive as it doesn't go in the door, and they were able to get couch fast as the nades didn't come out quite early enough for endpoint. Fake getting top cinema, and they don't think they were expecting to be there, but Fake is very low, wins the gunfight on the leader. Maybe a misplay as he was just one bullet away from dying there, but that's going to be a big advantage. Fake going to have another gun, gun fight as he is challenged by Max Strafe, and both taken very low, Fake just staying alive for now. Yeah, Fake has to count his chances as he's just gone into the second drill being low and still surviving. But now it's Max's turn to get the frag and he gets a headshot. Daxon follows suit, but he's only good for one as Replan's there with the car. And he's very dangerous with this weapon. You don't want to peek him when he's on fire. He has been playing up on top of that white box mark. Going to get one tap into this player in mid and kind of fall off. And it looks like Endpoint are calling for maybe a rotator to stack through mid together as they don't have the best guns. Replan on top of this market stall trying to see if he can see the bomb planner and doesn't see anything quite yet. Just waiting for something to show. Gets on this other angle on the railing and could fool someone if they walk through, but London is playing this pretty smart. Just 
getting it in the smoke and actually playing where Replan was earlier on top of this white box. They made some now as and Suma gone into fantasy. Only the angle and Replan might just be able to see it. Yes, he does. He gets the headshot onto Zuma. Luckily, Slatan and Max Rafe both good for one kill, and it's all up to Replan now with a car. There's not much time left on the clock. It's probably best for him just to save this weapon. Tries to get the flick and actually just has his pistol out, so if he goes down, he won't give up the car, but actually may stay alive here as he repeaks only one bullet left and gonna hold this tight angle, see if he can get it. Misses the shot, flicks upwards a little bit and will make it off site, so. Gets two kills on the round and has six coins, saves his gun, so not a horrible round, but London is bringing this back. They seem yeah. to uh, have figured out what their strat is, and that's just throw their nades, take B site, and don't let <laughs> Endpoint get yeah. back on. Yeah, exactly, and it's, it's probably the best way to actually play this map. Just make sure they can't get onto B site and don't let them back on it once you get B site. And they've been very, very vigilant. Like, you haven't seen them take many risks. And the same thing goes to Endpoint. Like, we've seen probably the most saves we have in this entire tournament in this game alone. They both really want to have that spot in the finals. And they're now kind of stacking B on the side of Endpoint. Reflex are going to get very aggressive and get some damage done. His teammate is there to help trade. And they haven't found one yet. There goes down one. They are trying to find that second, but not coming yet. But getting aggressive. And Heaven, who peeks out, there's three players on site. Actually, four for oh. Endpoint. They got to see if they can get out of this alive. They don't want to lose too many bodies. Otherwise, it'll be a free plan as they do repeat. Latin getting two kills there and a little sloppy to peek that. Yeah, especially alone when you have four bodies on the site and you go in one by one up heaven. Yes, you do probably could damage them, but it's always a risk that a second player could have came up after you got the kill. You don't have all the information. But now, they all have to defend the site. Still two players here, Red Plan being one of them, and he's dangerous. Yeah, but still just getting smoked off and can't really oh, do much. It looks like the call may come out to just save again as it is a full car. Sinda may be going to try to get at least one or two kills or find a gun or just do some type of damage. A little dangerous on the other side of the map. I believe that is the leader. Maybe he can find Replan if he gets a little too aggressive through the uh, save, but he's just going to fall off as well. So another round in the books for London. And not only are they winning these, they're, they're keeping a good amount of players alive, yeah. just building their economy, and they can keep buying these nades and keep spamming B site to stop them from getting there too quickly. Yeah, it's very important that you have these nades on this map alone, and they're playing this very, very well. Once they got the site, they're smoking it correctly, they're playing together very correctly, double peeking game, the frags together, and it's great to see. The only real person really slacking slightly is Daxton, but he's still doing bits. He's been entry fragging, getting the information on his team, and then you can see how that information is being played. Yeah, I was uh, a little confused or curious as to why London took derailed, especially after Endpoint took out Sector 1. I was thinking maybe they didn't watch the match, but it seems like they were very, very considerate in yeah. picking this map. They they were very strong on it. Well, they did play Avenue on this map in their best of three, and they beat Avenue quite convincingly on it. I think it was 13-6, uh, if I remember correctly. So they, they are very good on this map, and I watched them play the game, and they were very, very good. Slatan was feeling it. The rest of his team were feeling it, and uh, Max Strafe, he's just... Oh, Zuma through the smoke and Zlatan on the other side as well. Replan goes down, so that car that he's been saving no longer going to be on the map. Fake does win his gunfight in cinema, and P. Diz gets a plus 10 of his own. So looked like it was London's favor, but it's now dropped back down. Only two players alive for London Esports now. One of them is Zuma on this site. He's already got a kill in this round. Down up, Glenn. Ooh, Taking almost that fight from out. a little too far. Sin's going to be able to completely regen and... Probably will win this gunfight if he's not careful. Get some MP40 shots, oh. and he does not. Azuma coming up huge, getting that frag, and maybe going to try to pinch onto this site. Mark's the only one alive at this alternative mid spot. Maybe going to try to push through, but meanwhile, oh. the leader's going to push up this long flank, so I think Mark has the wrong read. They should be able to get onto A site for free. Yeah, Mark's in connector. He's in nowhere near the action. The leader's just walking inside thinking, oh, there's, there's, there's no one here. Where, where, where is everyone, Tom? Uh, he had no idea. They they left. They're all gone. They're out of the server. Mark does have a nade left, so could potentially throw a dead nade on site once this bomb starts to go down, but didn't pull it quick enough. So this is going to be a full plant. Oh, and Fake's on the other side of the map, so he's going to have to get over here quick. Otherwise, Mark's going to try to take a two versus one, and he actually does. Gets the first kill, knows the other one is lit, and just waiting for his teammate to get there. The leader in a big spot throws the set, and he actually bounces it. Hits the post, and he's not sure. He actually knows that he has gone off site, so 
the leader fighting for his life here in a one versus two endpoint, both on site. Mark gonna hold down this grave spot, sees that he's not there and they're gonna run around to the front. The leader just kind of playing with him, needs to bide his time, gets the first kill, knows that he's not still defusing. So in a 1v1 now, making it trouble for Mark as he is gonna peek around front and he wins it. The leader with a huge clutch coming up big there. How has the leader done this? There was a disadvantage as they went onto the A site. Two versus three. Mark got that kill onto Azuma, making it a two versus one, and the leader still somehow wins it by creating one versus one chances. Oh, maybe not the best play to uh, throw the nade at the yeah, at the pole. At the pole, no, it's definitely not the best for a nade at a column inside the church uh, when you're trying to do a dead nade. Maybe a bit of a misplay, but it, it happens, and just like that, it looks like London Eastwards are going to go back to their B ways. That was kind of an A hit and a, a little wacky of around, but it did work, and they're just coming straight through couch. A little delayed on their figure push. Max Grave going to be able to find a kill with the M1. No, gets some damage in the rep line, who does make it up top alive, so going to be a crux of this defense with the car up there. He does get the first head, headshot onto the leader, so a man advantage for Endpoint as Repland is getting tagged, but they slowly are falling off, but it doesn't, I was gonna say it doesn't matter as they are pushed up. Mark gets the kill onto Max Strafe, who was watching the flank, and now London are kind of trapped here on this B site. Azuma walks straight through and kills Cinda. Wow. Azuma is showing up huge today. Yeah, he's going crazy. He's just getting the kills where he needs to. Repplan trying his best up in heaven, but he keeps getting smoked. These smokes are really causing problems for him, as Azuma just keeps killing them from behind. Yeah, he just was able to walk through sight, and Mark didn't understand where he would be there. Gets the kill. Repland now stuck in cinema, and Mark going to try to wrap around and see if he can get anything here in ticket, but they are doubled up, so a hard gunfight to win. Maybe can go secret and find at least one, but it's just hard to decide where to even try here. Could get lucky. Is going to find the first. Knows that there's another, and wins that gunfight oh, as well, so wow. a plus 10. Now Zlatan left alone in a 1v2. Repland and P. Diz going to have to try to defuse this bomb or just find him and get the frag, and... Mark looking for the gunfight and does win it. A huge, huge win for him. Four man on the round. What a play from Mark. Getting four kills around. He first kill we got was on Max Trace on the flank. He goes all the way back. Let's get that double kill and ticket. That was the most important two kills of that round. Because if they was able to get him on the timings just right, where they were both looking his direction, that round would have been over there. A little interesting. It looks like they were both watching the same doorway. Maybe a, a little too cautious. Not a... Uh, not, I don't know. I don't know what they were doing, but it does work out. And Mark proving himself maybe after a uh, lackluster grenade the round before yeah. and brings his team back up to four versus five. So we're going to move into round 10. London with the uh, advantage here. Still impressed with the play on the side. As I say, Max Strafe already going down. Lita does have a scope. He's pushing the stairs. And he does get that frag onto Repland. Daxon also chiming in for one. It all leads up to fate on this b -box. It does get tagged up quite low. But he's still alive. And he's going to still be a nuisance. But he's really Mark. I think he Mark's going to play this passively now. He's been getting so aggressive on these flanks, as he knows. So holding this door good for at least one, hopefully. And it's slowed down a lot here. They could go up through alt mid to A, but it's just risky. Looks like that may actually be exactly what Zatan's going to do here. They've got to realize that there could be a possibility that he did push up into Z. You can see Slatan just checking all corners. Same with Daxon. Making sure there's no surprises, but I don't think they realize exactly where Mark could have gone. They've already made it a little far enough past that I'm getting worried for uh, P. Diz over here in the closet. He's going to hear at least the sprint of the leader, and with that, should know that's an A. We'll see the call come out. Bomb is now going down, and Mark has to get at least one of these kills, but oh, this scope might just post up long and kind of make it an issue, so maybe playing a little too cautiously there. He's flat with the pistol. Not sure why he has that out as he gets taken out easily. Now it's a 3v2, and they have plenty of time. 40 seconds left to get on site. The leader is playing over by Ferry with the sniper, so going to have only long-range gunfights for him, but still a smoke on Cinda. Yeah, Cinda could push that smoke up, but they could push. And Mark again. Mark's been the crutch of this team in this map so far. And Cinda, I wish we saw from his point of view how that went by, but he did manage to get that frag, so it will be 5-5 five, five between these you. two. And now and Mark's uh, got a scope as well. Yeah. Checking the scoreboard here just for a second. I think Mark's up at 13 kills. Yeah. And on the other side, Azuma with 11. I've been so impressed with him. He seems to be winning every gunfight he gets in with that Thompson. Yeah, especially close range and then jumping through smokes and even getting them. So that's, that's quite insane. And then on the other side, you have Red Plan on seven. Still doing a really good job. But I have to say, he could be on a lot more Red Plan. And yeah. it's just thanks to London just neutralizing him with all those smokes. They're definitely utilizing the utility there as the nade's going to come out through mid. 
Looks like Mark is going to try to scope this and has a scope watching from the other side and the leader does take him off. So the A player is dead, but London's not going to quite rotate yet. Another scope shot did come out. Not sure if the leader saw him going up the heaven stairs there. Fake's just been playing in this upper position, just trying to hold down and just keep control of Cinema to stop them from coming out too fast. Replan throwing a smoke, some poor timing, and almost gets this jumping shot, but can't quite find it. Playing on the edge of this smoke gets some more damage done, and is just preventing them from getting on site, even if he isn't getting the kills. Fake's going to have an important gunfight here, and he does win it against Max Strafe. So London now, after that kill, is going to rotate all the way back off, and it, it may be called here. Not sure if Cinda's going to hear it in time or when the call's going to come. He does have a smoke and a nade, but London are just sprinting straight there. And it, I don't think they know. He's going to be a little too no. late, and this bomb is going to go down. And there are smokes here, so he can plant safe. And he is planting behind the bench, which is the safe position on this map. Right. And this is where I've seen London struggle slightly in their post-plant positions. I saw one time they had two players in Alter Room, and they just both died by a fight. And funny same enough, spot, yeah. it was actually the exact same two players, <laughs> <laughs> Sumo and Daxton. So... I mean, Cinda does have the nade, could throw a dead one on the ground and just wait for them to come out, but... The thing is, they could just spam through those doors right. and they'll be dead without even a chance. Checking the angles, fake. Oh, didn't oh, see him there, so the leader does get the scope kill. Going to make this a little bit harder, and Replan knows where he is, not going to expect him to be on tank. They need to go here, only 15 seconds left, and they haven't really made too much progress. Replan just checking all these tight angles. Does hear him entering onto site now. Now the leader going to throw this nade. Both playing back in there, and that nade's going to fish them out, but it's a little bit too late. They're not going to be able to win this round. London doing a good job in that post-plant. A, uh, a little sketchy, a little yeah. scary to watch, but it does work out. Yeah, it was a little bit scary to watch, especially in the end with the dead nade, and you just see Daxon jumping just out, but he <laughs> manages to get the frag, stopping the defuse, yeah. and they win the round because of it. Yeah, the leader with some huge scope kills there, and uh, London are going to look to maybe go 7-5 and five on this first half. I, and I'd yeah. say this is probably an Axis-sided map, but this well, is, look at this buy for endpoint. Some people would like to say allies. Like I had some people message me yesterday saying, oh, it's definitely an allies map. You just throw a bunch of nades towards B right. and rush in. I can kind of agree with them. Once you throw nades to B, and you've seen it already in this game, but it's very hard to defend B site. But you can't deny it. Axis do still have an advantage in some areas. Right. Awesome. Good shot on the rep line. Fake winning his gunfight. There's going to be another, and he's going to be under his scope. Not sure he saw him, and he is regen all the way. May get a little aggressive here and may pay for it as Latin is laying on the stairs, just waiting. Not sure if one of them made noise, but they're going to try to entry on site, and we do have someone playing very close. I'm going to be believe that's Reflexer playing with the MP40. Cindy gets the first kill on his Latin, and Fake oh. gets baited out. The leader actually misses the shot. A little uncharacteristic of him, and Reflexer gets his two kills, so left alone in a 1v4 out of nowhere is the leader have a tough time at this and it will be 6-6 six, six as Cinder gets the final kill of the half and uh, it's been a half very time. close game not very really much uh, separating the two both having very good knees to slow each other down and the smokes that London was using on B-side made it very difficult for Endpoint to play it but now we get to see how their allies play out yeah, I'm always curious if teams donate that. Uh, we see four smokes coming out for Endpoint, so definitely a strat in mind. Yeah. But we don't see the donation for the nade to come over from London. So that's a mid-smoke from Replan, and it looks like off that they're going to maybe try to take B. Yeah, it looks like that way, especially with a bunch of grease guns and a bunch of smokes. The best play would, would be the B side, but that's the first one to get fragged. At least they're trying his best, but he falls to fake as he has to play close with this M28. gets one. Can he get second? Yes, he can. Two kills off the bat on that push, and he's got three in total. And it's all on this boy, Reflexer. Yeah, Daxon was a huge round on that uh, default weapon there. He gets the first kill, and we do have Reflexer. He's going to try to bring this back as a carbine, and almost gets the second, tries a strafe round, but Zlatan cleaning it up. So a good round for London Esports, and they are going to have money and nades on this second yeah. round. Important round for them to win there. They're definitely going to focus on that nade play to make sure that they can just slow down endpoint in positions because they know endpoint won't force too much into this but they are actually forcing this this actually surprises me since endpoint is normally the reserve team they yeah. like to play the long game but the fact that they're quite forced into this has put me off guard yeah i'm I interested actually, uh, to see what uh fake can do with that thompson because that's just it, it'll shred anywhere he goes and he is against mp40 so everyone did upgrade except from max strafe and they're gonna force and look to go a here and we'll be able to get that first frag. Can he get it? 
Yes, he can. That's two kills for him. And the Zuma just jumping into Z, able to get that frag onto Fake, just leaving Ref Plan and Reflex. And it's just Reflex now. Zlatan with a three man on that round. And yeah, once again, it's just Reflex who's trying to win this. Is spotted out, and the leader gets his kill. And I hear a lot of screaming over there, some standing up being done. And that's got to be London Esports. They have to be very happy about yeah. this first round, up 8 6 already. And that was kind of a force. They really can't do anything on endpoint. They can try to force again or maybe buy some uh, Thompsons or just, it looks like they're yeah. just going to have to, they're, they're forcing up again. I think they're actually going to try and leave some tokens there. They're going to try and buy down to at least two. Uh, Mark has to fall down to one to have those extra smokes because it probably is going to be a B play judging by those smokes. Very, very good on the axes. Getting aggressive there is Latin up mid, and he is at that tank, and he's going to pass right by Replan. Needs to look to his left, and he does at the last <laughs> second. Gets the kill onto his Latin. Picks up his MP40, and I think off that, the call will just be go A. The mid player is done, and he can't really rotate as easily as Fake isn't able to get any damage done. The smoke comes out, and they may just look to kind of rotate off and go take B uh -huh. as Reflex are still over there. Replan's there, but Max Strafe is looking to come down all mid. They're going to pass each other. A strange round. People just walking next to each other, and... I think with that, we see the bomb coming, and Reflexer win his, wins his gunfight. So if they sprint straight to site, they should have B for free here. Yeah, Delita and Azuma has to do something special to come back at this. And then points on really well there just to win their duels. And uh, just to outposition their opponents, I guess the best word yeah. is. <laughs> Since most of their kills, which they got, has been for free. Yeah, I feel I'm a little lucky as they were on yeah. the other end of people just walking past. But as you said, Azuma and... The leader going to have to try to do something big here, but I, I just don't see it happening unless they go together. Everyone's in pretty good post-plant positions as of now. They do have 35 seconds, but Endpoint really aren't peaking anything. They're just playing safe, and the call actually comes out to save. Yeah. At the last second there, they were <laughs> it looks like they got on site and then decided they, uh, they didn't get any picks within the first 30 seconds. It's probably a good call. That's two MP40s and a, uh, a much-needed oh win for Endpoint. It was kind of a force, kind of not. And now they'll have utility going into this next round. Probably going to see an upgrade for some of these players, but I, I think we're going to see smokes and nades on everyone. Yeah, that's what you would expect. Just get the nades and the smokes and make sure that you can delay your opponents as much as you can. Maybe get a kill with the nade as well. Of course, on this map, nades aren't really important for kills, but just to delay your opponents. Right? Yeah. To stop them from getting to places or to force them to go and... Yeah, we, we've really seen, what, maybe one, one or two kill. kills, if that, one just one? One kill from Zlatan. <laughs> I mean, you got to keep buying them, right? Unless yeah, you, you try to, because you got to keep the other team honest. If they try to start cheating and kind of sprinting straight to couch and you get them on that nade kill, it's their fault they die. So yeah. it's just kind of a mind game on, are you going to throw it? Or are you going to spend the coins? And everyone has been so far. We do see full nades coming out for endpoint. And they're not throwing them quite yet. They do come out for London and one, and they did get a tag actually onto Vake, and they're gonna keep pushing Vake. Daxon being brought down low by a nade from someone else. Rubble, he's gonna be dangerous as they do peek in, but he managed to get one. That's more than I would expect it from him. Walking through the smoke there, I believe is someone. I don't know. They're, they're <laughs> kind of trading positions here and doing damage and staying it. Ozuma gets his kill as Replan does as well. The bomb is now down in a 3v3 retake. We see them immediately go double up in cinema while Replan is watching the flank. May actually see him push all the way through mid and that'll be good as long, the, as, long as this round keeps going. It'll be a shame if his teammates go down and he's not there to defend them, but if they stay alive upper here as they are, Mark getting the first kill onto the leader, checking it close and Cinda giving the information. The big flank from Replan is going to be their safety during here to make sure they don't lose as Zlatan gets the kill onto Cinda. Mark's still upper, and that's going to get baited out. Can't find the kill, and now 15 seconds left. Replan's got to be careful. Gets the first kill and looks in the cinema, looking for the second, and keeps shooting, and wow. he gets it. A huge play from him. Huge play. Maybe some miscommunication there from London. Zlatan went out there about peeking, and then Zuma just not checking to see if they could have came from behind. So really great kills from uh, Replan there to bring back his team after London looked like it was going to win that round. Yeah, it's a pretty yeah. big gamble there for Replan to go yeah. all the way through spawn. Someone could have been that long A position and walked their way through couch, but he gambles and it it works. Eight to eight now across the board. Now uh, Endpoint did for all the nades that they could wish for. Three Thompsons as well. And they're straight just going to go straight to B. Those nades just going to delay their opponents, but their opponents don't matter. They're going to push onto the site and they actually get the first kill with that. Yeah, they delayed them, but they're not winning the fight. Staxon and Delete are doing a great job of fending them off. Max Strafe, meanwhile, gets the kill on Replan, who was watching that mid. The bomb oh, is going to go down, right. but it's a 2v4, and 
I'm not sure they're going to be able to retake or hold the post plan. I mean, the leader just going to kind of play in this ticket loop area, waiting for someone to push through. And we may see Sinda try to walk through the smoke to get a better position, but it's not going to happen yet. These smokes are going to go down, and London's going to try to retake this. I, I think they'll have success. Yeah, the best play really here is just a wait for the smokes to fade. Of course, by that time, there isn't much time to the clock, and Sinda tried to take the footing, so it's going to get that frag. So it's all up for reflex. It's only good for one low as uh, M1 Grand runs out of bullets and it will be the ninth round for London and Ooh. I can't really tell at this point who's going to win this match. No, it, it's, it's back and forth and back and forth and as we've been saying about these nades the whole time, they're yeah. throwing them to prevent them to get on site. You think maybe delay one because they just are, they're not winning their fights when they come out couch. You got to you gotta be expecting someone to be at that car position but Daxon and the leader just holding it down and uh, they're not able to take advantage. So London yeah. Esports kind of just figuring out how to hold that push after the nades come out. And you have to say one thing about both of these teams. They are very good at avoiding each other's nades. That shows how much preparation they've done on this map to know the timings of the nades and when they could peak the so, so well. But again, again, they're not able to win that gunfight. Daxon yeah. and the leader, just MP40s, just standing there, winning their fights and helping. And now endpoint in a 4v5 oh, once no. again deleter gonna go up through cinema not sure he saw him in the corner there and could do a lot of damage look at reflex though look where he's got to he's all the way up and he flanked through oh misses his spray doesn't know there's one white box and looks away from the smoke at the last second repland does get the kill onto his latin and deleter did make his way through isn't able to pick up this kill and meanwhile endpoint's on a similar will start hearing this bomb plan and the rotations will come in, but I would like to see Azuma just wait a little bit. Just try and get a frag on the outskirts of the site and let his team, because he is a fourth versus three. They have the numbers advantage. But they still have a smoke to use. We do have Repland on that scope. He's only playing with the Thompson now and may be able to get a free kill if they're not careful. Fake holding the front of the site, able to get one, but the trades come out. They have the player advantage. That's exactly what they need to do. Sinda now playing on the edge of the smoke right next to the bomb and Repland goes down. Sinda now left in a one versus three. He's going to try to get off site. Goes to the smoke and does see one, gets the first kill. He's going to just try to dance around and Daxa does get it. So London coming up big. Daxa with two or three kills and the leader with two. These boys are shutting down B and A. Yeah. They're doing very, very well. They're playing the numbers advantage very well there. They backed each other up, but most importantly, they're just winning every single duel that comes their way. The amount of times we see Daxon or Delita win that duel on the B site, that is so, so important, that duel, because that dictates the whole round. Yeah. I, I was saying the uh, Thompson was shredding through yeah. people. I think that's just because I saw a zoom on it. These guys are using the MP40 winning every single fight they're exactly. getting into. And London Esports now with a two or two round separation yep. from endpoint who are looking to be struggling a little bit they're going to switch it up and not even attempt to go b and that may give some information daxon and the leader aren't going to see anyone max strafe going to get into a gunfight here maybe with cinda but things are definitely slowed down here in the 19th round yeah endpoint now just trying to figure out how to get through this london esports defense so far it's been quite strong and they've just been changing up just slightly with just a push here and a push there as well as an extra player on this side and they've just been playing the rotations that Max Drake gained that frag so important yeah, I saw Cinder with the grand and he just takes a, a close gunfight doesn't have fake there to take it for him maybe he should have thought that the Thompson would have taken it but just goes down Max Strafe I think that's no it's not bombed down but 50 seconds left endpoint really haven't gained too much off this map reflexer may get confident here and just walk out bottom cinema and try to get at least one and I think he'll maybe find Daxon Gets the kill onto him and peeks the other side. Oh, double oh. takes, didn't truly peek it. And the leader's getting low, but he just needs to stay alive here as Bomb is taking a long time to get there. His Latin comes through mid and gets two kills on Mark and Fake. Replan is going to get this frag and turns trying to get the second, and it's just not enough time left. He's got 25 seconds, needs to get the Bomb, and there's three London Esports players still alive. Yeah, he's just, just staying alive there, and Slatan just holding the good angle in L just to get that frag in 11 8. Close to match point, and I told Mitch this. I said, London has got this. London yeah? has got this in the bag, and he was like, nah. You're full, Kaiser. And I was like, no. <laughs> so I, I mean, told Max, make Mitch look like a fool. <laughs> but he hasn't I mean, really he's been doing, doing his doing job, it. yeah. He's got 10 kills, Max, but look at Azuma. 18 frags, and that was mostly from the first round of that Thompson, and he's still carrying on in the second half. They had Daxon and Deleter with 12 and 14 respectively, yeah. and it feels like all of them are coming out in like the past six or seven rounds, but 
Uh, they're gonna try to go back B again. Max Faith is actually playing it aggressively. He's gonna get a free kill here, re-peaks it, and Replan actually does get the trade. Important that he gets that, otherwise it'd be a 3v5. Daxton playing here, and P. Diz is able to scoop up that kill, so... Oh, the leader getting a little aggressive as well, so this should be a, a plant and looking good for Endpoint. Yeah, finally right. figuring something out. Yeah, they finally figured out how to win their jewels and to get a position onto the site. And this is actually good things to come for Endpoint if they can just get their footing, slow down the economy of Lund, because even after this, they still gonna have a pretty decent economy, especially on Slatan and Max Strafe. Right. So they'll still be able to buy their MP40s and their nades and a few smokes here and there. Especially if these two players um, save, because you want to assume to keep that car, especially after losing this round. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be 20 seconds. I don't think Endpoint wants to really hunt here. They want to keep their own guns as they haven't had the most money. And uh, yeah, it, it's going to be 9 <laughs> to 11. I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking back. I was standing uh, behind Dark here while Mark was doing his post-game interview. And I think if I heard correctly, he said 2-0. Yeah. And it's getting a little close. It's just, it's getting a little close. Uh, closer for London to make it 1-0. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed with London. Uh, yeah. There is, not that I thought they fell down a little bit, but I, I, I thought Endpoint and Sector 1 were going to be the ones to do it, and London is really showing up and showing why. I think they won 2-0 over to Avenue in the series before this. And yes, they did. Max Strafe came up to me after the game. I was talking to him a bit. He said, I feel so good. He just it's talking about how so they good, all yeah. seem like they're just walking high, walking tall. They they know what they have to do, and they, they are winning their gunfights. So interesting to see if London Esports can take this next round and put it on match point. That's what we want to see. We want to see endpoint deep firm. Oh, I want to see endpoint yeah? deep firm. Yeah. I think That'll a lot of people great. do. <laughs> It'll make a great storyline. Not making it easy as Replan does pick up his first nade kill, and Mark actually oh. going to turn around as I believe. Oh, oh they walk oh, past no. each other. Zlatan walks right through the smoke, and I... I'm not sure how that <laughs> happened, but he's going to be able to flank all the way through Cinema. Gets the kill onto Daxton, but Zlatan is still flank under him. I don't think Mark's going to expect him there. Zlatan has a big no. role here. He's got to figure out some way to get into Cinema, maybe go back up the stairs to get the kill onto Mark. He's already gone all the way through Heaven. Max Strafe coming around through mid and finds his frag, so they're kind of trapped here. I think Mark thinks he has control of Cinema, but he does not. Max Strafe does win his gunfight against Fake, and the bomb is going down. Uzuma going to miss the most scope. But Zlatan does team up with him, so now P. Diz left alone, going to actually come onto site here and try to figure out some kills before they close in on him. Is behind oh, Zlatan no. and not shooting yet. Going to wait for the last second and does oh. get the knife, wasting some time, picks up the smoke and yeah. throws that right on site. And they are actually teaming together to push through from spawn together. And a smart play from London. Oh, he actually didn't plant the bomb. No. I man. thought bomb was down, so Mark's still got a lot of work to do. He has a lot of work to do with 20 seconds left. He has to get onto the side, plant. As soon as he starts planting, they know that he has to stick it. And they can both peek at the same time. But Max Schreif is just oh, waiting for his right. teammate to get into a position. And he can allow Mark to get away from this. Mark remembers exactly where he did plant that. And knows that they're not defusing. Doesn't even start shooting, but they're just playing on the edge of that smoke. And they win that convincingly. London Esports putting this on map point up 12 to 9 here. Oh, defused. Hey, yeah. Uh, Daxton. Yeah. <laughs> Is that him? I think so. <laughs> I mean, I'd be screaming too. They're playing out of their mind and yeah. they're about to take the first map. And this was their point, so, or this, their choice in the beginning. So you would expect them to do well. But I thought Endpoint was strong on this. London's just showing them something else. Yeah, and then after this, we have Manor House where. Their first map was very, very close, and there was some technical issues on that map. Uh, both teams were lagging, and it was appearing on stream as well. Yeah, I thought it was maybe spectator lag, but it was yeah. actually in-game a little bit. So, unfortunate to hear, but at least they both had the same disadvantage, so on an even playing field. But jumping into this next round, it looks like it's a slow default coming out from Endpoint. I, I was going to say I thought Endpoint was going to play strategically, or maybe that's when they beat S1, it looked like they had the yeah. nades and things like that. But... London have normal nades. It just looks like they're winning their gunfights. It doesn't look like anything special other than some good set plays and just better aim. Yeah, it's, uh, that's that's what it's mostly been. Like the nades, like most every team's nades is pretty much the same. Right. So everyone knows each other's nades. That's why they're able to avoid each other's nades. But they're just so good at just wasting the time using the smokes effectively and playing around the smokes. And of course, just hitting every single shot that comes their way, which is the most important thing in this game. Just hit your shots. Yeah, and it's mainly been the submachine guns, the uh, MP40s. And yeah. 
That's, that's all they really need to do at this point. P. Diz walking slowly through couch, and this is probably the slowest round we've seen come out. There hasn't really been any contact, and we're about a minute into the rounds. That and playing very far back. Replan does open it up with a kill onto Max Strafe, but I think that's Daxon and Zlatan still playing in cinema, and they do have control of it. It may get smoked off, and they do have someone running through the back. Reflexer gets the kill onto the leader. Now up to Daxon, who is top site. Zlatan can maybe walk through site, and he gets <laughs> taken down. Can't find the bomb. Unfortunate play for him, and Daxon was tagged up top, so. A uh, 2v4 for London, endpoint in a good position. 2v5, sorry, they haven't lost a single player yet. Yeah, they played this round really well, played it slow, and just outmaneuvered their opponents. So they just able to get those easy frags together. Watch your frags, but Redland's having trouble taking his shots yeah, today. Yeah, doesn't want to lose scope. that. He's just, I'll run away. I don't need to take that battle right yeah. now. After you miss two shots, you're just like, yeah, I, you're, you're, you're going to live for yeah. now, Daxton. <laughs> Just it's doing him a favor, just right? Stay away. Yeah. <laughs> and Daxon may try to just save up top. I don't think the explosion of the bomb will get him up there. Yeah. And I'm not sure they're going to hunt. I don't really think it's worth it. All he's got is an MP40. It's like Mark wants to try and go for it. Well, at least just hold to see if Daxon peeks. But assume it should be safe. And as long as Daxon doesn't peek, he will also get to keep his weapon. I haven't seen much from Azuma on this half so far, and it's not no. that they haven't needed him, but just kind of been holding down his angles in that mid and A spot, and oh, Endpoint really hasn't been going that way. No, and uh, Endpoint now get to have a bunch of nades since all five of them get to live. Are we going to see that slow play come out? Well, if it works, you might as well try and do it again, replicate it. Of course, it won't exactly work the same way since, of course, uh, London would change how they did. The reason why they was able to have that is because they left be open so much and went for more cinema control and retake. But Raplan and Reflex up able to get those opening frags. He's open. And then it's the falling point once again. Latin does win an important gunfight, but will be traded off. And now Azuma is left alone in a 1v4. And they're probably get 11 rounds off this. Does get the first gunfight. Now in a 1v3, a little more doable than it was, but not a good position you want to be in. No, and he definitely doesn't want to let um, Endpoint have this card since there's so many good card players on their team. Fank is one of them. Cinder is another. Luckily, uh, probably the best one is Replan, and he won't have it. But Fake will be able to take down the Zuma and drop that guy. And just Having a hard time up. picking it up? Maybe oh, he does get <laughs> there it. You go. And I saw Azuma there at the beginning. It looked like he was lining up a set nade, but then was just jumping, aimed in. Not sure if he was delaying for timing there or if he was trying to scout out nades. I was going to say that, but... Just as I was about to, a nade came through. So, Endpoint really trying to bring this back. It's now 11 to 12, trying to tie this yeah. out. And it looks like maybe London Esports have taken a timeout. Maybe uh, the commentators curse, but London did take a timeout, thinking what they can do, what they can buy, and how to change their setup. Because at the moment, B is falling apart just because of this slow play that Endpoint are bringing in and just hitting their shots now. They're awake. Yeah, when I was talking to Looney earlier, I was asking about the timeout from uh, Avenue. I was saying, is yeah. that for you guys to regroup yourselves? And he said, no, it's for us to stop the momentum of the other team to make them wait a minute. And I said, does that work against you guys? And he said, no. So I was curious how much it actually stops the momentum. Do you think it gives them a second to maybe dry their hands off and crack their knuckles? Do you think it – are they going to change things up or are they just giving themselves a break to catch their breaths and figure out what they need to do? Yeah, it could be a mix of both. Like they get to talk and think of what they can do instead and then at the same time endpoint – they get to talk as well, but as the time goes on, their hype and their aim starts to just wear just slightly, and uh, that's what London is looking for. It comes down to the seconds here as London, they, they take their time out. They don't really, they, they're not going to lose this map. They already, their endpoint's been playing for a tie for the yeah. past like three or four rounds, so a valiant effort for them. London Esports are trying to just take it to the second one and get to Manor, but endpoint are not going to go out easy. Finally. And honestly, looking at the money, I wouldn't be surprised to see Endpoint take it. We, all, we see five MP40s and four smokes across the board for London. Maybe they're going to stack something and play retake together, but not a strong buy whatsoever. No, in this case, it looks like they want to try and play in the close angles, use smokes just to delay. They don't have any needs to slow down Endpoint, but at the same time, they don't really need to. Endpoint are slowing themselves down. Yeah, they, they really are taking their time getting here, and that means the leader can maybe get something done. They're going to try to shoulder peek and bait this out. They actually are playing three close to that couch position, so if Reflexer can get pushed up in the cinema, he may be able to find one at white box as the nade Ooh. comes out and a fat tag right onto Daxton, who goes down, and 
Um, I, I, they're kind of gambling playing close here. It does work out with the first kill for the leader. Fake trades it off, but Zladen is right there. Gets the bomb and actually moves forward. Not sure that they saw him, so this could definitely pay off, but it looks like Replan may be watching that angle. Oh, no, he turns and watches mid, but Zladen's just going to play it safe here. And a pretty big play. The uh, sound comes out, and I think he knows that the close smoke knows that he could be an L. Takes a shot. Reflexer, meanwhile, gets the kill onto Max Strafe. Up to Zlatan here to keep his team in this. Gets oh. the first kill, but maybe traded off. As we do see, Cinda is there street, but can't finish it. Azuma, meanwhile, is walking through this courtyard. Should be a free kill, and he gets it. Now left alone in the 1v2 is Reflexer. Gets the first kill. Knows where the second man is. 35 seconds left. Playing with that scope. Can't get it through the smoke. And now just has to get the bomb or find his frag. Azuma in a 1v1 fighting for this first map. Oh no, he's walking right into Reflexer saying, but Reflexer doesn't take the shot as Azuma does. Time's ticking down. Reflexer only has yeah. 20 seconds to make a move here, and he's playing it slow, waiting for that smoke to fade. Knows that he has to be close since Bomb is down, and going to wait for him to get impatient. He does shoulder peek it, and he knows he has to go. Maybe not enough time left as he only has 10 seconds. Going to start sprinting, and Azuma's doing the smart thing, just running straight back to A site. Reflexer doesn't no have time. much time, and no this is going to be the round for London Esports, oh. taking this first map easy. Not easy. Very hard, actually.